I'm still not sure if the question was actually answered, right? Does, to your point, you're saying the right kind of has the word liberty or freedom. But then when I say liberty, does someone automatically think, oh, you must be a conservative or, oh, you must be a Republican and liberty is only for Republicans, liberty is only for conservatives, right? And, and to your point, then, does that mean, well, then if liberty is for Republicans and conservatives, that means equality or fairness is for Democrats or for progressives. Have we broken our country up with the word as simple as liberty? Well, look, um, liberty leads to inequality. The problem is that we have as a, a group of people in this country who are teaching others that inequality is a bad thing. Inequality is not a bad thing in and of itself. In, inequality can be a bad thing if it comes from unfair circumstances where somebody is actually oppressing somebody else or taking away their freedom. But if two people have just different preferences, different interests, then they're going to achieve different outcomes. And that's a good thing. You know, we're all different. We, we would be in a very boring world if we were all the same, uh, if we all had the same taste, the same preferences. So uh, I think that inequality is not in, we, we need to fight that notion that inequality is a bad thing. We need to understand that actually inequality is fair. It is a good thing that people who give different amounts of effort, that people who chase different dreams, that a doctor makes more than somebody who does not have a, a, a degree in medicine, that that's a fair thing and that's good for society. In Venezuela, I remember as a young kid watching the minister of uh, industry saying on national that it's not fair for a physician to make more than somebody who cleans the street. Not even the, this was on Venezuelan regime TV, television, not even the television interviewer who was a leftist could believe the words that were coming out of the mouth of the minister and asked him, well, don't you think there's some educational qualification consideration there? And he's like, no, people who clean the street take care of your health. Physicians, just fix your health. They're the same. For some people, everybody should be the same. Mm -hmm. We need to fight that. Got it, okay. But isn't there a point though? Thank you, yes. But isn't there a cultural piece, right? And John, I'm sure you're gonna jump on me in this one. The denotative meaning versus the connotative meaning, right? Denotatively, you're correct, right? What you're saying is correct. But man, is not, that does not feel good, right? Because we have a culture, if it was unequal, then it was less than. That's what our culture has told us. If you're not equal to me, then you're less than. So inequality is bad, culturally, emotionally. It's bad because if it's not equal, then clearly you're worse off than me or less than me in some way, shape, or form. I'm like, you mentioned that, right? You said you felt like, well, because I was black and I was different, that the white guy had something better than me. I think there's an emotional piece. John, am I wrong here? No, you're not wrong. I think that what we're touching upon is that it is not as natural to all human beings in the world to cherish the sense that there is an accomplishment in being highly educated and being trained to do something that isn't natural, that you wouldn't learn under normal conditions. This is a little bit of Rousseau. There's the idea that we would have been better, not as the noble savage, that's not what he said, but that we would be better as bands of about three or 400 people living by a river. Think of most cultures in New Guinea. For him, that's where it should have stopped, where the closest thing to inequality is that one person is the chief, but that only happened vaguely, and there are times when he's not really, and it's usually a he, is not really the chief chief. The idea that, that there is a such thing as justified inequality is probably something that comes from either despotism, where people are miserable, or perhaps a more refined version of it is post-enlightenment. But even that way of thinking is under threat these days. And so that's where I think, Daniel, you get this person who says that the street sweeper and the neurosurgeon should make the same kind of salary. The idea that the neurosurgeon did something that means that the neurosurgeon should get more coconuts, I don't know if all people think that way. It's a lesson that the world needs to learn. It's a tough one to teach. Good. I'm not anything on this. It's always easy to, to compare yourself to other people. And it's easy to think that because we all live in this society together, we should all benefit from uh, the same amount of equity as the other person next to us. Um, and that's not the case. That's not how it works. Humans naturally place themselves into hierarchies. There will always be somebody who accomplishes more than you do or strives harder than you do or is more ambitious than you are. And to think that because somebody does that, you need to be uh, gifted or, or reap the benefits of what they've, they've sown is 
a completely ridiculous way to think, but it's so easy to sell that to people, especially on the left, when you can look at somebody else's life and compare yourself to them and think I should have what they have. For more thought-provoking conversation and commentary, check out Larry Sharp on your social media